This is Keith Berkelhammer, and this is Reef Bum TV. Are you thinking about setting up a live webcam for your aquarium or something else you would like to broadcast or monitor in real time? If so, keep watching. For years, I have employed webcams to monitor my reef tanks while I was away from home. They provide me with peace of mind when I'm on vacation or a business trip, and they allow me to show off the tank to someone who has never seen it in person. There are two basic types of setups, one for private viewing and another for public consumption on a streaming platform such as YouTube. Today, I employ both types. For private viewing, I use a Nest Cam to monitor my aquarium sump. It delivers crisp 1080p HD video, is extremely easy to set up, and allows you to zoom in and view things at close range. You can even view in the dark with the built-in infrared feature. Overall, it is a great way to see if the water in the sump is too low or if something else is wrong. As for my public streaming setup, I broadcast my display tank 24-7 live on YouTube with an Axis M1145 network camera. Not only can I monitor my tank, but I can share it with the rest of the world. Okay, in just a few moments I will go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up. It only works with Axis network cameras and you will need to spend money on some live streaming software. You will also need to have Windows to download the setup software for the Axis camera. I have a Mac, but I do have a Windows license to run the camera software, which is called Axis IP Utility, a copy of which can be downloaded at Axis.com under the download section. One more thing, I recommend you have a minimum internet upload speed of 8 megabytes per second. The setup requires a direct ethernet connection and the speed can be tested by visiting beta.speedtest.net. Okay, here's what you will need to do. Note this procedure is specifically for YouTube, but you can set the camera up for other streaming platforms. Step 1. Go to camstreamer.com slash download dash app and download CamStreamer. It costs $299, but you will not have to pay a monthly streaming fee. Be sure to download the software for your specific camera model. Next, you will need to load CamStreamer onto your Axis camera. Go into Setup on the Axis IP Utility and select Applications and then click on Browse to find the CamStreamer file you just downloaded. Click on the CamStreamer file listed under Applications and click the Upload Package button. You will then have to set up CamStreamer. Double click on the CamStreamer file under Applications to get into the setup mode. Here you have the choice to select different platforms. As I mentioned, this guide is for YouTube, so once it is selected, you will have to enter in your YouTube login credentials. Next, fill in the broadcast title and choose a setting for video quality. On my live webcam, I am using the following custom settings. You can choose them by clicking on Video Options. Resolution 1920 by 1080 Frame Rate 25 frames per second Compression 30 GOV length, I've set at 41. Bitrate limit, I've set at 4800. Text overlay, disabled. Vapex RTSP parameters, I left blank. For audio, you have the option to enable or disable the sound. Under privacy, select public. Now you are ready to hit the start button, and you are live. Is this all Greek to you? If you're not the tech savvy type and need some professional help, Please reach out to me by clicking on the link in the top right corner here, and I can point you in the right direction. Many thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to be alerted to my latest videos.